Yeah, many people felt the 5.8 magnitude earthquake, but did you get that earthquake notification? There are many questions surrounding the timing of when that alert came out. 23 ABC's Tori Cooper is joining us live from downtown tonight. She spoke with officials from the United States Geological Survey about why the emergency alert notification didn't hit phones until after the quake. Tori. Yes, the USGS officials say that the MyShake app and the emergency alerts for cell phones are designed to be an early warning system for cell phone users to notify them of when ground shaking from a nearby earthquake will reach them. This is obviously in hopes that they receive the notification before they start to feel the shaking, giving them time to duck and cover and find safety. But of course, as you saw, it wasn't until approximately four minutes after the initial 5.8 magnitude earthquake hit that that residents here in Kern County received the emergency alert notification. But uh, experts also say the time of the notification all depends on how close you are to the epicenter. The waves are traveling out from the earthquake. The system tra you know, calculates as fast as it can and sends out the alert. If you're really nearby, the waves got to you before the alert did. If you're farther away and the waves are taking longer to get there, but you get the alert at the same time as, you know, people in LA got the alert at the same time as people in Bakersfield, but you got the waves before we did because you're closer. Now, Dr. Lucy Jones says essentially this system is just intended to tell you that an earthquake has already begun and the goal is to get the emergency alert to nearby users before they feel any waves from the quake that's nearby. But that doesn't always happen. As you saw earlier today, many feeling it moments after. The early warning system will reach people in two ways, through an app called MyShake and through the existing wireless emergency alerts that sound and alarms on your cell phone, similar to the way you receive flood warnings and amber alerts. If all goes well, it will give people up to 10 seconds or more in advance notice before they feel the ground shaking. Officials were not able to explain the main difference between the app notification and the emergency alert that was sent out, but according to my shake, you must have location services enabled to get the alert and for people without an app on their phone the wireless emergency alerts will be sent out but they'll only reach people who are expected to feel shaking with an intensity level of four or higher now this is obviously a stark reminder that apps like my shake won't always get you the intended notification that is essential to your safety in time. So this is also a key time to have the conversation with your family members about your plan that's in place in case the big one hits. But for now, we'll leave it there in Central Bakersfield. I'm Tori Cooper for 23 ABC News connecting you.